Hello everyone. Thank you for your supporting and standing with us in these days. I have a few important message, but I want to start with words. Thank you. Thank you for our army. Thank you for our people who suffering them lives in this moment, in these days, in this minute. We proud of you. We proud of all of you. We proud of all Ukraine. We want to say thank you for our medicals. Our medicals is fighting with death every second and saving the lives every second. Even in this hard moment for our nation, our medical showing to all world incredible humanity. In this minute, they even saving the life for our enemy. They saving the lives for people who came to our country to kill us, to destroy our family, to murderers who killing all of us. But they saving the life, they showing humanity in this moment. Everyone must to learn this from Ukrainian. We teach you, we teach all countries this. We all know that our children is our future. So Ukrainian children, Ukrainian future in this moment getting burned in shelters underground. Our future right now our underground getting born because our enemy shoot even hospitals and ambulance car. That hospitals, that saving them lives as well. They shoot, they have no mercy to nobody. Our kids, our kids is also hiding right now underground from bombing. They, bo they bombed everything, every small village every building we hear we hear the moment for our nation our medical showing to all world incurring all your prayers we hearing all your support all world is pray right now for ukraine but we also must to feel your support all your donation, all your donation is help us to protect not only Ukraine, but whole world, all Europe. We must to stick together. Ukrainian right now is like one. We are like one family right now. We all stick together and fight. We will never give up because we fight for our land, for our future, for our kids, for our families. Our army right now is the most motivated in the world. We hear before that Russia is so strong and Russia is so big. But we're showing right now that Ukraine is giving a great fight and we're protecting, we fight back. Because it's our future, it's our freedom. So we must to... Героям слава! Слава нації! Смерть ворогам! Україна! Понад усе! We must to feel your support. Please, ask yourself if you're doing enough in this moment to this situation not happen with your country, in your city, with your family. Because if they will win, it's only the question of the time when it's happened here or in another country. We must to protect ourselves. We don't need to send the hearts or peace. We must to fight back. We must to fight back. All our families right now in danger and we can, we can lose them in every moment. We ask to, pro we ask to ask your government also. We need we accept all, all kind of help. If you don't want to support the war or army, 
support our medical help, support us with medicine. It's so important. We accept everything, all kind of help that is possible from everyone. It's super important in this moment. I also want to say a few things to Russian people who are in here. We understand that not all Russian want this war, that all not, not all Russian support the Putin and dictator. But please don't say to us sorry. Please don't send to us your heart and peace because we don't care about this. Your people right now, your army is killing our people, our kids. I beg in you, not talk to us, talk to your people. Do not believe in propaganda. Believe in all world. Believe in us. We need this support. It's your, you say that it's not your responsibility, but I say it's your government, what you put in charge and didn't change for over than 20 years. Your silence all this time, the result of this war, it's your silence. It's a result of your silence that you kept so long. Right now it's too late to go to protest in your country with the flowers. The only thing can help you and save you as a nation. Do revolution in your country. Change your government. Change your president. Do the steps. Don't need, we don't accept your hearts and peace and love. We don't accept that Ukraine will never forgive this and never forget. But do this for yourself, for your future as well. Talk with your families, talk with your relatives, talk with everyone who you can talk. Talk to Russian people, not to us. Say them what they must to do. Save yourself. Ukraine is gonna protect ourselves by ourselves. We don't need your support in this way. Hearts and love right now from you is not saving Ukraine. Do the steps. Do revolution in your country. Stop to be the slaves in your country. Thank you so much for everyone who came today also and supporting. Supporting us in this hard moment. But please think about my words. We need to feel your support. We need to feel this in any way is possible. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, I'll, I'll do a short translation for you. Yes. Okay. Uh,那我稍微为, Bukwan 源源不绝的涌入他最后提到说，他希望俄罗斯人在场的俄罗斯人如果有听到的话，他们他希望在场的俄罗斯人可以不要再用爱心、卡片或者这些呃比较温情的方式进行抗议。他希望俄罗斯人可以不要做这个集
。啊，再次呼求台湾人跟各界看到的所有观众都可以相信乌克兰人，听他们的声音，不要相信这些呃谎言跟宣传。那在这个在下一位发言者之前，我们来喊一下口号。呃，台湾 stands with Ukraine。Stop Russian invasion. Stop Russian invasion. Taiwan stands with Ukraine. Taiwan stands with Ukraine. Stop Russian invasion. Stop Russian invasion. 啊，那现在下一句，他在呃，台中文里面应该是愿荣光归乌克兰哈。Slava Ukraini. Heroin club. Slava Ukraini. Slava Ukraini. 好，那我们呃，现在就请下一位发言者呃 ，Alina， 她也是在台乌克兰人，请她为我们呃稍微发言一下。Hello everyone,、uh, my name is Alina and I'm Ukrainian. Originally, me and my family is from Donetsk, which located is on the east of Ukraine, as you all might know. My family moved to Kiev in 2015. Maybe. We moved is not the right word because we ran away to Kiev. Because Russian President Vladimir Putin, he occupied my hometown. He bombarded our houses. He killed our people. He forced us to sit in the basement in order to save our life. But so the war itself. It didn't start right now. It didn't start four or five days ago. It started eight years ago. But all this time, Russian president just continued to lie. He continued to deny the fact that Russian military, Russian army, crossed our border. And the most terrifying thing is many people in this region, as I personally know, they supported him. They trust him, and you know why? They believe that he is saving their lives from Ukraine. You know why? Because they didn't trust in what they see. They trust. In what they hear, what they hear from Russian news, from Russian false, biased TV news. What I want to tell you, what my message is, please, people, inf- disinformation and political propaganda are such a strong things that can change. People's conscience that can change national ident- identity. That people already are not able to think clear. So, if you want to post something, if you want to say something, please check the information twice, three times from the live sources. Don't trust Russian news from the TV channels. Don't trust fake Russian Telegram channels because information is very powerful tool for all of us. Slava Ukraini! Slava Nazi! Ukraina! Putin! Thank you so much. 呃，那我也为就是呃 ，Alina 刚的发言稍微翻译一下下。他的家乡是在呃，顿内茨克，也就是在东乌克兰这个地方。那他们家在二零一五年的时候搬到基辅去，说搬过去其实是有点呃，轻言这个严重性，因为其实呃，乌克兰呃，其实俄罗斯军队在二零一四年开始，二零一五年开始就已经在侵略顿内茨克这个地方。那呃，其实，在那个时候呢，他问一下身边的呃朋友们，其实蛮多人是支持。Sorry? Okay. 
是支持普丁的，因为他们是相信普丁去解放他们。哦，可是这个原因是因为他们不相信他们所看到的，而是相信他们所听到的。所以，呃，刚刚 Lina 想要特别强调的事情是，我们在注意，我们在接受讯息的时候，一定要特别注意它的真实性。我们一定要去检查两次、检查三次，确保它不是来自俄罗斯的呃虚假讯息，不是来自俄罗斯的呃资讯站跟来自俄罗斯的呃政府宣传。那呃，嗯、呃，对，所以他他是希望我们说，在这段期间一定要去，就是多去注意这样子，因为在俄罗在乌克兰现在发生的战争，并不是两三天前发生，它是在八年前就已经发生。那希望我们可以特别警惕。那我们现在有第三位 Tanya， 我们的发言人来到现场，他也是在台乌克兰人。那我们也请他跟我们说一下他想要讲什么。What Russia doing right now? It's for sure can call genocide of Ukrainian nation. Just for two first day, 16 people, 16 kids was killed for two first day of war. I really can hold my tears when I hear the story when Russian soldier go to hospital with cancer kids and and. Keep them like human shield. Even our medical wanna help to injure it solider, but they get shoot back, they shoot them and kill them. For what? Putin wanna separate us, but today he unite us. We united like never before, because we all have same goal. We all want freedom for our country. We fight not just for Ukraine. We fight for democracy in all world. I thank you so much for Taiwanese support, and I can feel it. I can feel my friends who send me message, and uh, Taipei 101 lights, Kaohsiung lights. It's really great. But we need more action. We need your donation. Because now, even our civilians, some of them don't have food. We don't have medical, enough medical for our solitaire. If you don't want to support the war, you can support by donation just to buy our people food. I know we cannot deliver nothing from Taiwan, but we can donate and people can deliver from Poland to Ukraine. Also, I ask in everyone to share information as possible you can, because maybe like this we can open someone, people, some Russian eyes from propaganda. Also, I ask all of you, don't buy Russian products and don't do business with Russian, because all money, what you pay to Russian, it's bullet for our solider. Also, I want Taiwanese help us to sign petition for Visa and MasterCard. It's much more better than SWIFT. Maybe this will help Russian to open eyes and finally make revolution in their country and change president, what they keep for 20 years. Thank you. Slava Ukraini. Ukraina. 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 Putin. 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 呃，他每次在想俄罗斯目前在对乌克兰的侵略的时候，就很难忍住眼泪，因为在前面两天的侵略期，就已经有十六个孩童因为这个侵略而死掉了。那呃，俄罗斯对于这个医疗机构的攻击是，嗯、呃，不分青红皂白的，甚至对就是癌癌症儿童的医院也不分青红皂白的攻击，对想要去救治这些小孩的医护人员也是不分青红皂白的攻击。
，普丁想要分裂乌克兰人们，可是乌克兰人们在这个时候。嗯，前所未有的团结。那他们他们说，乌克兰人在战斗的不只是为了乌克兰的自由跟民主，也是为全世界的自由跟民主。那他在这边想要感谢台湾的支持，不过，不过我们需要更多的行动跟更多的支援。如同刚所说的，如果不希望捐钱给战争，那可以捐钱给食物跟医跟医疗器材。在乌克兰现在也有很多人是没有办法取得适当的食物的。再来，我们可以分享一些资讯，不要让更多人掉入俄罗斯的虚假讯息当中。再来就是不要购买，也不要跟俄罗斯，呃，不要购买俄罗斯商品，也不要跟俄罗斯做生意，因为跟俄罗斯进行的所有交易，最后都会变成俄罗斯的子弹。再来，他说，除了 SWIFT 之外，他也希望 Visa 跟 Mastercard 可以也跟俄罗斯切断关系，这样子或许才能让俄罗斯的人民直接的或是更急速的呃起来反抗他们的政府。